What's up guys? It is Fred back here and we are going back into some more Slay the Spire Library of Runa. So last time we went in with the let me look at my notes to see if I can remember anything. Actually these are not the right notes. Give me one second to pull up these. Do 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 they actually are. I was just scrolled too far down. Um, last time we went in with, it says the Ironclad, and I think that's right. I think we got our butt stomped by, on the Ironclad, um, doing a searing, uh, searing blow or bust kind of build. Um, and I think that was just me being a little bit too overzealous and too impatient, um, with going for the elites. But I feel like that's a fun part of the Slay the Spire, uh, meta here. So we're gonna go back in. Let's accept that invitation. Get that snap going. All right, here's where we decide. Ego all the way, I think. I think that's the play. And I think it's, let's see, Seer, Scry two for each, discard card, gain three. Vigor, what's Vigor? Oh, that is a, okay. Yeah, we've seen that before, but I didn't think it was in this mod specifically. Um, whenever you deal unblock attack damage to me, it loses that much HP. Unblocked attack damage. I don't know if this works with like poison. Would be kind of cool. Unblocked attack damage. It loses that much. It almost feels like you're doing like double damage. That's in my head what this means. I kind of want to try it. But also a 1, a 12 and 3 and then gets more damage. Is also very good too. These two are the ones I'm thinking. I want to try faint, Ar faint aurora or faint aroma. I don't know why I said aurora. Aroma here. All right, let's check our pathing. I'm feeling ambitious today, but I don't want to go. I actually want to make it a little bit farther if we can. I don't want to go too crazy. I like this like two elite path. Could get one more, but there's a lot of question marks. Which I feel like could add a lot of value here. Going with the crazy employees. And this is a good... Oh, we put double tap in here too. A uh, faint aroma here. Let's try this out. See how this works. Okay. 16 coming in. So, hypothetically. This, so it's doing 4 with vulnerability. How much are they going to take? Uh, we'll probably double defend too. Oh no, we'll survivor defend. Uh, well, actually though. Yeah, we still have enough. Um, so six and then six more. Okay. Two, a three, and then three more. Okay, it's just double damage, which is a weird, weird concept. I guess it's kind of expensive to set up. Like, it's not going to be good for these early room fights, but on elites and that kind of thing. So this would do, yeah, nine. This should do 18. Yep. Just as I would expect. Okay. I'm pretty okay with that. Backstab. Mm -hmm. Backstab's great. It's high damage card. 15 on the thing. I can't really... Well, I could set it up with, with Aroma. Let's try it. I like Backstab just as a card in general, too. I'm not, like, disappointed to see it. Uh, he said me discard a card. There's part of a build. It's a big part of a build. Discard with shivs. Very tempting. We got survivor. I'd be happy. Double tap. The double tap kind of incentivizes like another form of play. I honestly kind of want the sucker punch and then a card removal. Can I get both? 25, 115. Yeah, I think I can. No, I can't. I'm too off. Sucker punch is still fine though. Not too opposed. Here's our forsaken murderer. Should be able to really dunk on this man because we're gonna play a lot of attacks here. Um, yeah, and then one defend. Try to play a little bit more defensively. So, well, why we take on this murder here? Um, I had asked you guys, you know, what your guys' opinions on the scheduling was, um, you know, on what games we should be playing, um, and it seems like there was a a very um, like open and honest, like, hey, check out the. Um, Check out the Library of Runa. Uh, there's a demo coming out. It's either a demo or the Xbox Showcase. There's a big push to do that. Um, from it was in the comments, and then for scheduling, 
You guys just said play whatever. They you you definitely want to continue seeing uh, play the spire, but um, you said whatever else we wanted to bring. You know, go ahead. Uh, so I'm very encouraged by that, and I like that. Uh, I'm not gonna take any of these. I don't think. No, it doesn't incentivize with cards. Um, so I'm gonna continue doing that. I think I will try this. Um, weird one here. Uh, play, play the spire more than one day a week kind of thing. If I can do it and then bring on other games, like later into the week, uh, as I and like introduce them. Not off and on, but like. Uh, sequentially kind of thing. I think we just got them here. Yeah. Um, and just kind of like play them as we have a chance. Release whenever. I'm going to do probably another Rim World coming up here. Maybe even record it tonight. Um, and I'm working on a special. I'll take one acrobatics um, video where it is um, a drawing video, which I've been wanting to do one of those for a long time and just never. I guess never had the confidence to try it, so I'm editing that as we speak. I just don't know when it'll be out. And then, uh, what is this? Spider buds, spiderlings. Whenever another creature dies or this creature is alone, uses it, uses a strong attack next turn. Okay, I mean, we're gonna kill you. So I kind of want to, I'm incentivized to kill them all the same turn, I guess, right? Neutralize the pin. So there should be a strong attack this turn. I've never seen this one. 17 is the strong attack. Let's weaken it. So down to 12. Definitely play a block here. Um, I mean, I can hit them in the back. It might have been better just to go straight for the spider bud, but I'm not quite sure that would have been the move. Take six to play faint aroma. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'll let it go this time. Actually, we'll throw it back in the deck so it doesn't get lost. Not that great of a pull, but we'll do do the double tap here and we can get through. Entangle. That's gross. I was actually not expecting it to do that. We know now. And I like this background, like the hanging spider, like the hanging clumps of this. I wish this had a thread to the top. I think would add to the uh, overall look that it was going for. Um, but it still looks great. Okay. But yep, that was the only update. I'm going to keep the updates a little less uh, intrusive into this video because I've been doing them a lot because um, I'm just surprised with the um, amount of support because it's just different, I guess. Um, none of these finishers good, but not. It really was pushing us to the shiv kind of way and I've kind of ignored it. Um, hopefully not to our detriment here. But uh, I think the only other question I had, because I think I've kind of got an idea of what we're going to do. Oh, I don't like this elite. Uh, do I acrobatics? I think I have enough damage on board to kind of just go for a couple of things. Seven. Yeah, whatever one I do, I'm wasting a little bit. So I'm going to go with the neutralize. Get this one out of here for now. And then defend here. Still taking a bit, but again, I should have picked up that all-out attack. I feel like that AOE would have been fantastic. Double attack this. They are dead. Another block. Oh man! Ow! Bad. Um. Shoot. I mean, I think I have to do that. Well, they're gonna blow up until ten, unless I kill them, which would take. I can't even do it. We're gonna do this. Risky move here. Down to three. Oh, we just... Actually, let's go ahead. Okay, I was kind of afraid that would kill us. Um, if we're being honest. Strike. Oh, these, I need to waste this on you. Seven, seven, you're dead. And then... Block here. And then I need to... Start dealing damage to her. Twelve and twelve, though. She should go down really quickly. But well, pretty much we have to kill her before she gets another set of gifts off that's six sixteen yeah she's dead three hp left not very good but there's a rest coming up footworks is great i think i'll take one all the eggs choose carpet up uh, all codes that card 
are upgraded. Any future copies we add are upgraded. I, I mean, here's all covered. I could just do all of our defense. It's kind of a boring move here on my end. Um, if not, what else? Maybe backstab we would add more copies of. But really, we're kind of in like a, a little bit of a dangerous spot. I mean, footworks would be good too and sucker punch. I, I want to go the boring way. I'm going to do all the defense. Makes our deck way more like consistent. I mean, I can't um, lose 6 HP, so I guess we're taking the 7th bullet. Um, we'll go here. Let's take that rest. 21 HP is better than 3. Extra drop hunt. Choose a card whenever you shuffle your draw pile. Put this card in it. We'll end up on top. Um, what card do I want on top every time? Sucker punch. Oh, neutralize would have been a better one. That was, that was a dumb pick. Runic Akasahedron. Don't love seeing it, but we'll take it. Uh, we have left and right shoe here. These guys deal a slew of damage here. I don't think they do anything else besides that. Um, I'm kind of okay to double tap backstab here. Just kill them right off. Eight block. Get that weakness going. Okay. Yeah, this is. I think that was their main thing. Was they just hit very hard. Sixteen is not enough to kill them. Uh, what are you going to give me? Ah, I'm vulnerable. Thank you. I probably can stretch for lethal, I feel like. Yeah, one try. I didn't get it. That really sucks. I was hoping for neutralize. It's in there. Ooh, not great. Alright. I mean... Taking 12. Oh, and he heals 12. Yeah. I don't know if that was the right move, but... Oh, and then the seventh bullet hitting us again. Backflip counter... No, I'll take a slice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be rough... Oh, another new guy. Scorched Girl, and then the... Match Flames. Huh. I like she has a, a one of these Match Flames like that are going through her. Interesting. Thirteen here, though. Very nice. Slice, and then we're going to... That one down... And then we'll finish it up right there. I'm liking seeing these new enemies. Even though we've played this a few times, it's cool to see different uh, different uh, bosses. Oh, man. Oh, we're weak too. Nice. Double tap to strike. Uh, she did not die. Ah, uh, yes. The, the defeat by burn. We'll do another one. I was actually, I don't, I feel like we should have built into the shivs after the fact. Um, but I guess you cannot regret the builds that you do. Okay. All right, going back into this. Um, hmm. Random ego card would be what we just did. I don't really want two basics. I think I'll go with the ego card. Pleasure. I, there's a poison one that I've been looking for. Oh, we seen this one yesterday. Or, I guess, two days ago at this point for you guys. Um, hmm. Gives you thorns. This one incentivizes, like, quick play. to free energy auto play card. Exhausted. Lose 80. Okay. The thorns are negligible at best. If there was a way to, like, get artifact to no, because there's not a way to, like, not exhaust it. Oh. I don't know how we'll use it. Uh, up here to... Ooh, actually. Here, and then an elite. Two elites. I think I'll dip out after two, but that's another one. We'll try for here. We might change our path once we get up here. Again, I wanted to make a little bit more progress, but... As, as it does. Pleasure auto plays. Okay. It gives us more energy, which is nice, but the problem early game starting out here is I don't have a ton of attacks to, like, devote to that extra energy. So you're dead. Spikes played. Okay. And he took the thorns and should get it now and autoplay it? Nope. Next turn. Alright. And done. Guess it helped. Alright. What are we going to do? Discard build? With shivs sound fun. I, I did put, because I was taking, I'm trying to be better about taking notes as I 
record. I think it'll be more helpful for like RimWorld, and I've done it for a little bit now. Uh, but I've been taking name ideas, and I put shoulda shivved as the first idea. I, I think I'm gonna take this and see if we can do a discard shiv build. That's what we're like. Oh, I don't think we've seen this one either. This is actually looks a little different. Uh, so I'll probably extract, but. Uh, night in the back streets. When night falls in the back streets, a different world unfolds and they will come. You observe as a torrential wave of sweepers march onward, unflinching as they approach. Various sweepers lay on the ground, left behind from the marching pack. Their corpses motionless from the fight with fights with stray fixers. You notice small canisters of red fluid the life force of the sweepers, which is still intact, and you begin to wonder if you could extract them and harness their power yourself. Injury. So this is life fiber. Next time you die, heal 4 HP instead. At the end of combat, increase that amount healed by 4. So the next time you die, heal 4 instead. I mean, I gotta take that. Sounds awesome. Also, just to add it to our um, list of seen relics. You wait for the stream of sweepers to dissipate before making your move. It does not take much effort to reach the streets where the life, lifeless corpse lay, and you manage to easily unfasten the canister from its host. But you are, you. But as you fasten the canister to yourself, you stumble and fall, injuring yourself in the progress. So I'm not sure exactly if this is after every combat. This increases until you die, and it's a one-use thing, or you're healed to four. And if you were to have died and survive it again, um, you will increase that to eight. Not quite sure. A little bit of a fragment of the universe here. Um, I'm going to go with a different... Oh, I didn't actually... I forgot how calculated gamble works. In this, in this time, it works really well. Or one less card each turn. That's fine. I, I'm wanting to get this extra energy here. Hopefully we can do so. This one kind of sucks because we drew that injury, but same time, it's fine. Get that damage in. We got them down. Okay. Oh, no. Maybe one dagger throw. And then we'll remove something here if we can. Oh, we definitely can, but um, tungsten rod, that's sad to lose. Also, the prices feel pretty expensive here. I feel like they're a lot more uh, grinder, uh, mock 5-2. You deal 15 unblocked attack damage each turn. Game 1 energy next turn. I'm okay with that. Don't mind that very much. Uh, I am just going to go with the simple removal of the injury. I would, of course, never make that mistake and remove the wrong card. Okay, it does increase to 8 too, as you see here. Uh, autoplay here is great. Um, just to go ahead and because we're gonna auto play it so might as well make sure we get the most effect for it uh, I'm really tired of seeing Latia um, as my least favorite of all these ones um, drop the defend we'll probably survive her here too so I'm not gonna be able to kill them but I can set them up to die next turn drop the defend and what do we get here 50 well take it I don't have 50 goals to lose I'm actually not even sure if we lost any Oh, no, we don't have souls. We have gold. Uh, and we also could shuffle these gifts back in, I think. Yeah, because they're retained, not unplayable. Alright, do that. You're gone. But you also lost your stinking... This creature exhausts all gifts in here. Oh, yeah. They're, I, I didn't realize they even did that. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to calculate it here. Pleasure should autoplay. Yep. Neutralize for more damage. Defend. Uh, kind of a waste. I'm kind of okay to play 30. I'm actually going to hit her. If not, I think we're going to be in a little bit of a, a spot of bother here. Yeah, because we're going to eventually cycle back into the gift. You're gone. 13 here. Gross. And the, he's going to automatically do the gift. I can't block it either. We'll do it like that. Actually, I could have made it where he would have died to the thorn. That's unfortunate. I should have done it a little differently. Fine. You're dead. Dagger throw here. Uh, survivor is better. Also, there's nothing to auto discard now. Which is kind of nice. So the discard actually really matters, I feel like, in this fight. Okay. Discard this. 
keep them out of my hands so they can't uh, tick down. Okay, we made it out of here. Not in the best, but not in the worst. Also, the pleasure card has not actually ended up um, ha like hitting us for anything. Uh, Dentures, powers, a copy 50% of the time. Pretty interesting. Ah, uh, Forsaken Murderer, my best friend. I um, mean, no, actually dropped basic defense. Go ahead and basic defend out of the fin. Hit him, and we're going to 18. Not bad. Gotta get that D20. Auto play here. Actually, kind of a pretty good bit for him. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, speaking of D20s, I don't know which. I feel like most of the the people who would watch me would be more on like the nerdy or dorky spectrum. That would be great. Um, actually, he's gonna kill himself anyway on one hit. Uh, but for those who might enjoy Magic: The Gathering. Um, I don't play that often. I actually picked it up from some friends in high school. Um, one of which gave me his whole collection, which is like five boxes of cards, which I've toted around from a six hour move to an apartment and then another move across to uh, Raleigh where I live now. Um, back to what I was saying, sorry, my dog started uh, vivor, uh, not vi vigor vigorously, I think is the word I was going for. Um, if I can speak English. I'm drinking water behind me, and he is not very subtle. Um, I'll get back to the, what I was talking about, but uh, ball bearing. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, uh, shuffle in a flash of steel or finesse chosen randomly. Bad. I'm trying to think of what those flash of steel or finesse is. Finesse is a... I can't remember what either one of those cards are. Um, but what I was saying is for those who like magic, um, the new set that came out, which... Again, I have a collection that a friend gave me, but it's all like D and D related and adjacent. Oh, hundred gold, um, which I find very fun since um, Wizards of the Coast and I think owns Magic: The Gathering and D and D. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, like in depth, full interaction, but um, I think it's cool. The power of the set is not incredibly high, which I find, um, of Vanessa's the draw and gain block card, um, which I find slightly unfortunate, um, cause I do want to play more of it. Um, but I, I guess it's not as worth buying like individual packs to play it. Um, oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh, dagger throw here, drop the strike. Actually, we might've been able to kill them. We may be dead. Uh, 11, no, we're not dead. Um, but the power level is not as high, which, uh, means that the cards, I guess, specifically aren't, like, worth as much, or they don't work as well in what I play, which is Commander. Um, so, that's sad, but I did pull some cards with some friends, and it's fun to see, like, a Beholder or, you know, these other different, um, other different cards I might be playing with when I, or these... Different creatures, I guess, is the better term that I might be seeing when I'm building uh, different encounters for my players. Ooh, from all sides is great. So is Predator. Uh, don't. I want more weakness. From all sides works really well with pleasure. I think we'll take that. Uh, for the first two turns of combat, receive 50% less damage from attacks. That's just raw value. Again, we're going to go for the rest. And we right now have a. A 20 HP revival, we gotta keep in mind. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. Um, a lot of you, I wouldn't say a lot. Some of you probably um, know about that stuff. Also, what's going on with our, our silent man? Three artifacting. He's he's having a cow. Um, damage randomly. If I could kill this one, it'd be worth it. Okay, that was worth it. Oh, we're hovering. That's why we take less damage from the bird. I thought my guy was just having some issues. I'll do this. Four damage here is great. And then, yeah, we can continue. I think we got this fight in the bag. Gonna get probably burned a little bit and singed from this. I think that's here. And Flash is still the draw pack version of the card. Oh, do I really want to take? No, actually, I don't. I'd rather blow them up. 
Mm, oh, beta doubling dagger. Add one shift to your hand. Each time this card is played, increase its shift count for one this combat. Incentivizes a very small deck. Kind of like it. I don't know if we'll get it off, but I kind of like it. All right. This is where we what we do. 100 gold. Not really what I needed. Um, one defend. Play the weakness. Okay. Six, so we're going to take one here. Yep. All right. He's going to be more powerful now. Um, neutralize you. Down to eight. Survivor. The calculated. Doubling dagger. Shiv. Strike. Okay. We really have to get one of these these all around helpers down, or we're not going to uh, make it out of this fight very easily. Okay, 18 coming in. Shiv you. Dagger you. Drop this. Two of these, we're up to 16. Okay. He's taking some. Charging, so you're gonna hit me now for 18 too. 24 actually. Oh, that's not very good. Doubling dagger here, it's fine. Um, I mean, I'm gonna play it for the, the raw damage, but are we dead again? Well, I mean, we're not dead. We're, we'll come back. Specifically. But I think we. Oh, he, they killed themselves. Down to six now. Um. Three cards doing 18. I can do 12. Drop those. Up same same exact cards. I mean, we'll play them all and see. He should kill himself in the first one. And we survived. Oddly smooth stone for the decks. Another cloak and dagger for the doubling daggers. Trigger trap. Okay. I mean, I'm going. Does this work for the way I want it to? Oh, we did not take any damage, and that's good. Bag of marbles, vulnerability is awesome. Bunch of potions, which will help us through fights. And then, oh, Joke is really good now. Joke with the doubling daggers and stuff. It works out. I'm going to rest here for my life. All right, made to the boss, which I don't think we've seen this one. Dream, or actually, I think we've seen them once. Dream of the Black Swan. And then these are all the brothers, who you can only hit them um, as you go up. And then they, um, if three or more brothers have died, begins to use a powerful attack. Uh, each round, a different brother becomes active. I mean, we can just hit him in the back. We want to play Shivs off. Um, I actually don't like any of these. Doubling Dagger here. Shiv. And I'm okay with the surviving off this. Boom. Three. That sucks. Because we're probably going to immediately... Alright. Played it. Oh, so he gives... Yeah, they each give off Bex. That's what it was. Um, I'm kind of okay with this. And that's not what I expected to happen, but it kind of works. And we'll do the necrotic poison to all of them, which is a ton of damage. Okay. I'm fine with that. All right, another brother in. Oh, choke is not the best here. I kind of need some of these to die. Um, we're going to choke this backliner. Oh, with the void, I can't do anything else. I'm taking six here. Oh, actually, two of them are going to die, though. So it was intentional that I didn't use any of my uh, my cards. I was going to let the thorns kill them, of course. Double void here. That's doo-doo. Very much so, but we're going to die. Definitely. Oh, no, we're not. We survived. I thought we were going to hit our life fibers. Okay. Now we definitely will. Choke you, doubling daggers, hit you, hit you, the choke didn't do anything, which is kind of nonsense, and then do that, okay, alright, 28 here, alright, back up to 25, and that does not come back, so it is gone, yeah, it is used up as it's called, dang, they are not kidding around with these, these freaking attacks, this might be considered the big attack, though. Yeah, broken green. I bet that's what that was. And, or not. And they're just going to continue to, uh... Try to strike me. Yeah, I got a... He's, he's got a ton of weak. Uh, 13, 13... No, we're just dead again. Wow. This dude is just... Rough. 
Man, was not prepared for that. Do we do one more? I don't think so. I think we'll call it here. Another set of crueling losses. Maybe I should turn down the ascension. Uh, let me know what you guys think, because this has been... I'd like to see the other floors, but... I, I mean, that was rough. Like, even with, like, good block, and I felt like we played fairly okay. The only thing else I could have done was the cultist potion, and I guess the voids kind of killed us there, but... That felt kind of kind of harsh. But that could also be just to the spirit of the Library of Runa. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Uh, let me know that you're enjoying. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.